Hey guys, today I'm doing some updates on my savings challenges, so let's get started. So it's been a while since I've done savings challenges and I apologize for that, but we are going to do a full stuffing of all of my challenges. I've gotten rid of the summer one because summer's over and I do have some savings challenge money that had been sitting there for a while in my uh, stowaway <laughs> in my um, savings binder and it needed to be stuffed and I added some money to it. So we are going to put some money in my file folder and I did remove some of the savings challenges I had finished and the summer challenge. So we have a month ahead on bills, 5K. We have the $1 and $5, and we have the car payoff. Now the car payoff kind of looks a little different because I updated it, and this is what the car payoff is going to look like. So the car payoff is going to have one car per, per car payment, and thankfully I only have a $320 payment. So this is how many payments I have left on my car. And I'm really excited about that because it's only 25. So we are going to be tracking the payments in this, this PDF that I've already um, been tracking. I colored it, kind of cleaned it up, and we are going to be continuing to make those payments every month. I've written down the months, as I've shown before, and the years that it should be paid. But if I can get ahead, that would be even better and I'm just excited to finish up this chapter of my um, of my car payments and get it all done and so yeah we're just going to dive into all three of these categories now the one dollar and five dollar I will remind some of you if you're new um, I don't look at the $1 and $5 and count it until the end of December. So the end of the year, I've put $1 bills and $5 bills in there all year long. And I haven't done it very often, but I do have a lot of $1 and $5 bills in here. So we are going to see how much we can put in there. And this is a good amount of money so let's count this up and see how much we've got we have 20 40 60 80 1 20 30 40 45 50 55 60 so if I'm correct, we have 160, and we're going to divide this up. And I do have a lot of $1 bills. So the first category is month ahead. Month ahead is about halfway through. And I have all of this money in the bank in a savings account, earning interest, so that's great. And so far I've got five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty, sixty-five. Nine sixty-five. And we're gonna add forty today. So that is going to be five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred, eight hundred, nine hundred, fifty, seventy, ninety. <gasps> Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I didn't know I was going to reach that today. Wait. Wait. I just reached a thousand. That is like the biggest milestone. Oh my gosh. That is such a big, big milestone. I am so excited. Oh my gosh. And five. So a thousand five. I've never done that before on here. That is a great way to restart the cash stuffing. 1050 oh my gosh that is just awesome to see because I've never been able to save that much in my entire life 
in one category. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I can't believe that. I am only like a, like $750 short of being a month ahead, which does not seem very far away now. That is amazing. Okay, so, so excited for that. Let's move on to 5K challenge. And I have 400, I'm going to add 40. So we'll have 440. And I changed the font and the size of the numbers so you guys could see them better. Car payoff has 100 and it's getting 40. It's kind of like a reset because I did have a different amount in here, but this is my reset of 140. And we're going to start off with that. So the other money probably went to an extra car payment. I'm pretty sure it's just been a couple months since I remember. <laughs> And then I'm not going to close that because all of these are going in the $1 and $5. So the $5 is going to get $20 today. And I have a few in there. So that's good. And then the $1 is going to get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 21s. And it does look heftier. You can see that it's accumulating. And it might be a small amount, but it's something better than nothing. Now, I do have exciting news for my. Can we stay up while I talk? Okay, there we go. So I do have some exciting news for my um, sinking funds binder. So stick around for that on the next video. But I want to let you know that you are known and loved. And I will talk to you next time. Bye, guys.